Hello everyone, welcome to uh, Desley Plays Coffee Talk. Uh, it seems to be a pretty chill game. Uh, I just wanted to check out here. Our Brees name is Thezzle B. I would just name Thezzle. There we go. Yes. Uh, let's play the game. Just play it. Let's see what it is. That achievement. Let's go. Seattle 2020. A city filled with dreams and madness. A time where the great war between races is a footnote in history. <clears throat> a time where anyone can dream of whatever they want to be. And have those dreams crushed before they can even be discussed. But still, it's a place and time where anything could happen. Look at these guys. I see an orc back there. It's when the elves have left the forest. <laughs> I can't keep on talking like this. Uh, when the dwarves have emerged from the caves started the automotive empires. When the orcs put down their axes and started using pewters to improve their lives. And when humans live among them as driven as ever. It's a city that holds many dreams and stories of its people. Most of these stories are left untold, but some few find solstice and embrace the brick and wood and glass. They're told over drinks and they made up a residence in some stranger's memories. In one corner of the city stands a coffee shop. A place that only a place that only when the sun is up and sleeping. <laughs> I messed up that line. <laughs> a place where people <laughs> share their memory their stories. That's a is this a long line? It's a, I see a bar. I feel like there's a bar there. Coffee talk. Tuesday, September 22nd, 2020. Oh, it's you. Hit that has a night so far. It's calm, as usual. We've got a slight problem, though. You're here. <laughs> my solar made some logistical errors. I don't have half my ingredients today. Oh, her name is Freya. That's so cool. I like that. Um, I just realized it, it's like, I, I guess it's a controller game. Hold on. Let me actually boot up a controller. Okay. That's good to hear. Oh, I can move my, I can move around. Okay. Anyway, let me start. There's, are you our first customer after all? Don't worry. Take your time. I'm a writer, not an editor. Oh, wow. Wow. What's that supposed to mean? That's right. What are you writing now? Do you remember my plan to... Do you remember my plan to make the coffee explode right behind you? Do you want your triple shot of espresso now? Yes, please. And if you gotta make it, just check your phone, okay? I really need a triple shot of espresso. Um, okay. Oops, X. Uh, brew pad. Is it just espresso? Okay, so I just want to make a espresso. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Uh. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Brew. Brew that coffee. Espresso. Trash. Serve it. One cup of triple shot espresso. Special for my only customer night. Aroma. Oh god, that's she gonna spit out right at me like no. I just want the coffee I asked for. 
plan to do something. Yeah, that's... It's not that I hate writing stories for newspaper, you know? But it seems like the right time for something bigger. Yes. It sounded so simple when I made a plan. At least you still have your job. In case things go awry. <clears throat> no, you're right. You said something I should have thought about myself. What are you talking about? You know, who owns the Evening Whispers? Jerry Media, right? Yes. And they are the biggest book publisher in the country. So when the opportunity presents itself, I took it. What do you mean by opportunity? Well, I bumped into one of the big guys in the elevator. Literally, he was huge. <laughs> he took up the entire elevator. Come on, don't look at me like that. Are you for real? Yeah, I know it's a, such a stupid thing to do. So how'd they react? He'd seen my short stories and he challenged me. If I had a draft ready in a month, he pulls the strings. <coughs> oh man, I'm talking. Uh, sign me up for a publishing deal. What about your job at the Evening Whispers? Do you have time to do both? It's hard part. I've secretly been working on a novel during office hours. I'm falling behind my newspaper deadlines. If the chief finds out, she'll probably kick me out. At least you have a month to finish the initial draft. That was last week. <laughs> How far are you along? I assume the number of words you have written is not far from zero. Well, yeah. Welcome to being a writer, right? I wonder if I could check my phone during this conversation and be like, yeah, whatever. I really need to finish it the most two weeks. Now I'll just use the extra week to polish and do some editing. I know, I know. That's why I'm here today. I'm hoping to find some inspiration. I wrote some of my best short stories here, you know. Really? I'm glad to see this place of service. Oh, it looks like someone else is coming in. Who is... Oh! Hel Hello? Oh my. What do you recommend? And share me up my boyfriend. Ah, oh, damn it! I had a thing for incubi type girls. Thank you. Anything with chocolate in? Uh, her phone has, even her little phone has uh, horns. Um, I guess I can make her a, a dark chocolate. All right, brew it. Brew it, baby. Serve it. One cup of chocolate goodness. So warm. You waiting for your boyfriend? You should be here soon. You went from an empty to three customers in one night. Considering it's the only coffee shop that's still open after midnight around here. Because it's the only coffee shop that's mostly empty. Now that you mention it, it's good for business to have a coffee shop open at night. Then why? I just love doing it. There's always someone lo longing for a warm drink at this hour. But how can you survive in a coffee shop like this? That's a secret. <laughs> no, it's just, it's a ghost shop. <laughs> the shop really doesn't exist at all. It's, the shop only exists in people's heads. It's probably going to bring it anytime soon. So you have to have a weird, quiet place to meet up at night. It's good to hear. By the way, are you regular here? I'm a writer who does his best work, or who, I'm a writer who's best, or who works best at night in a coffee shop. Not many options for that. She 
He's a pretty good writer, you know. You can find some of our stories in the evening whispers. Yo, can I get your name or something? Like, is it Hella? Like, you wrote those stories? Then are you here to write a new piece? Oh, poor Freya. Orc, 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 ah. Oh my god. A nice chat, a nice chat with the fine folks here. How old is that? Something bitter to keep me awake with milk. Uh, also, draw some latte art on it. No, I'm gonna die if I do that. Come on. Um, I'm guessing probably a cappuccino. Wait, no, he wanted latte. Um, oh, let's see, coffee. Something better keep me awake with milk and draw a latte art on it. Um, this should work. That's kind of hint. Okay, let's just try this. Latte art. Oh God. Um. Uh. Have a heart. There. It's, look at that. It's it's a Dunsparce. There. <laughs> Do you like Pokemon? It's it's a Dunsparce. It was a Dunsparce. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> it's trying to mess some work. I'm Bailey's. Lua. I'm Freya. It's nice to meet both of you. I'm Dazzle. Hey, did you know that Freya is the writer for the Evening Whispers? I've done some work for them a few times. What kind of work. I've done some caricatures and infographics for a paper. I can only assume you're in contact with Steve. He's yep, he's a nice guy to work with. Oh really? No, he isn't. <laughs> He's, or but I've dealt with worse clients. Way worse. Yeah, I'm glad that he's the design and visuals department. I wouldn't be able to stand working with him directly. <clears throat> he's tough to deal with, but definitely not the worst. No matter how deep you go, there's always another layer of hell. How do you usually deal with bad customers here? sounds really bad. Nah, they're easy to handle. That's because you're good with your fists. What am I, a fighter? What the fuck? Take it as a compliment. Anyway. So I'll leave you two. In the hands of our friendly neighborhood barista. <clears throat> Next to windows. That's my spot. I just realized she was smoking a cigarette. Okay, I'm just gonna, I finished my proposal early so I can get out of the office. Plus my boss is really in a good mood all day. I thought your boss was always happy to lucky person. Well, he is, but today he was happier than usual. I'm not sure what happened, but it was great to see him with such a smile. How about you? 
Any problems with your latest client? Yeah, this one's a pain in the ass. You know, those memes that depict terrible clients? Well, he fits all, or she fits all the bills. I could go on for complaint, forever complaining about her, but that won't help a bit. You should do a meme about her. I lose my current project for a minute of laughter? That might be worth it. You should ask Cecil how to deal with annoying clients. The ones you don't need to take care of your fists. But it wouldn't be wise to talk about customers to other customers. It's a good lesson learned for a day. Yes. Oh no. I feel like there's a bit of there's a bit of racism here. Anyone but an elf. Yep. Yep. I knew it. I knew it. So I'm seeing a fair in this place now. But they're your family. I can't even stand them for one more second being part of them. I'm going to have a stable income that I can manage. You know what they say about your last night? <clears throat> Sorry. What'd they say about me? I'm all about how elves and our holy creatures, about our immortality, even about how even if they out, if outlive you, no other elves want an elf that's already been tainted by a lowly succubus. I knew it. I knew she was an incubi type of demon. Oh my god, they just broke up right in front of me. This is so awkward. Oh no. You just can't elope. You don't, you won't get permission because you're too old. Lua, I don't care about their permission. I'll be glad to serve. I'll be glad to sever my family ties if I have to. Can't let you do that. You lose your immortality. You're making it hard for both of us. Oh man. You don't need any more reasons. You know you're perfect, or you know we're perfect for each other. You don't have to even look that deep down. Trust me, we can do this together. You know what, man? It's the scarf. This coffee shop has seen all types of stories. I hope yours will have a happy ending. Aw. <laughs> hey, yo. Can I get, can I get like a Mexican coffee or something? Okay, green latte. Come on, hit the wrong button. Um... I fucked that up. Uh, green tea, milk, and milk brew. Oh, do I have to make another freaking thing? <laughs> uh, there. Have a, oh my God. Have a, have a, there's, it's, it's a, it's an incubus because you're dating a succubi. So there, I don't know if that's, if that's a thing, but it kind of looked like a guy with horns. Me, no. Do you have someone you love? I love for this coffee shop. I'm sure that's not the answer you're looking for. I didn't really have any expectations. You can't choose who you fall in love with. You can't if you try hard enough. At least that's what my old man said. He's really one he's one of the pretentious elves. 
but I guess all of them are entitled pretentious immortal douchebags I took me a second to read that word I have not seen that word in a long time written out like that I, I know I just read it randomly but anyway I need to go now and probably drink the and probably drink myself under until the sun rises well they're still until the sun rises more time for me to drink then see you around <laughs> he's been there the entire time like what happened poor souls I hope they find a way together anyway I need to leave have the rest of the deliveries come tomorrow oven as usual okay the Spice Lady, a British chocolate drink, extremely popular in the 90s. Uh, yes. Seattle, Washington. Welcome to Coffee Talk. Wednesday, September 23rd, 2020. Zombie virus from Africa may have reached Seattle. Wait, that's a completely different way. Oh my god. Uh, fire plans to enforce stricter regulations to manage illegal immigration. Seattle groceries distribution problems harm locals. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. What's wrong with you? Can't you just enter like a normal customer? I know I went from Revel. Is it one of your impulsive temporary ideas again? <laughs> okay, just tell me what you're going to write about. This coffee shop. What? I'm going to write stories about this coffee shop and people who come here. I'm not asking for... <laughs> Relax. I just need some inspiration from this place. The stories themselves will loosely be based on what I hear and see here. How loosely based. Knife Walker novel versus the movie level loosely based. Of course. It's already very different, you know. Can't get any more different than that. I mean, it's not like I can tell you not to write about the coffee shop, right? No, you can't. Although you can ban me from coming. <laughs> I wouldn't do that to my little customer. I'm really excited to see who comes in tonight. Oh. Good evening, Officer Jory. Georgie. You seem in high spirits this evening, Miss Freya. And please, Dezel, no need to be formal with me. We're both on duty here, hence the formalities. You're as stiff as ever. Anyway, I have a shift tonight, so I'll need the usual. Not everything, but more than yesterday. Coffee with a hint of sweetness. <sighs> okay. So... Cup of sweet, healthy coffee, or healthy coffee. Mm. Okay. Gala. Lua. Um, so he wants something sweet, but no, but no, but no milk. Okay, I'm assuming that I just. 
Oh. Honey? Okay. Okay, by the way, I haven't heard anything myself. <clears throat> espresso, the only, the one only espresso. A starless night for a green haired fairy. I'm not even sure whether or not it's a compliment. <laughs> How's it going at the paper, Miss Faria? As usual, awful. Making a risky deal with her boss. Yeah, pretty much. What kind of deal? A possibly life-altering deal. A very dangerous one at that. A deal she regretted. Not that much. Care to share details properly? Some like writing her own novel. <laughs> you got balls. I can tell you that. <laughs> <clears throat> Gee, thank you. How's the leap of faith going so far? It's not slowing down, that's for sure. I haven't seen... I haven't seen any safe haystacks to fall into. Don't worry, she's not losing her job. At least not yet. Her life will pretty, her life will be pretty hard if she messes up, though. So yeah, as Cecil said, my editor in chief doesn't know how I got this yet, but my novel is going to be published by our parent company anyway. So it's technically, I'm still doing work for the company. She'll really piss off if she finds out, though. Just are, those are just coffee breaks. Sometimes they make me longer than they're meant to, but still, coffee breaks. You're making me feel worse by saying that. Stop adding salt to the wound. Not sure. Oh, Lucas Forrest is always looking for people with balls as big as yours. What? <laughs> I should be offended. I'm sure you do just fine, Miss Freya. You have any idea what you're gonna write? I have actually. Good. What are you gonna write about? A coffee shop and the people who tell stories inside. What's wrong? Please don't write about shady looking police officers who love to take their breaks more than they should inside coffee shops near their posts. I will definitely write about that police officer. I'll make him a comedic character. I would call that a compliment. Hey, what do you have against me tonight? Bezel is probably worried about losing customers due to breach of privacy. Come on, it's not like I'm using their real names. And all dramatized things I've heard of, of course. It's even worse. As far as heard, Stories I've heard, they're only get inspiration for what I write. That's why someone's always stationed here. I assume that you've heard a lot of stories coming from people around here, right? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You helped me once with the stories I wrote for the paper. The one about the secret, ri secretly rich beggar hanging around the block? I'm sure you can give me another interesting tips. I helped you more than once, actually. Now it's my turn to say, come on. When the plays gets hard, always rose with them. I heard about your girlfriend passing during the investigation. It was hard, but at least you give him some closure. Have he never complained that you use a store in the paper. 
I got his blessing before giving to the editors. Yeah, or sorry. Well, well, at least he's become popular since the article was published. More income for someone who's line of work. Yeah, that rose is some kind of prop for him now. Anyway, back to topic. Any hot tips? Have you heard about this one girl? Lately, she's been coming to coffee shop in the area more often. She's pretty weird, but I don't know where her deal is. She has bright green hair. <laughs> you think you're not real? Faster than my career is going downhill. Cheer up, girl. Doing just fine. I mean, you're great with your short stories. By the way, why this coffee shop? Because I spent a lot of my time here, and I guess... And then there's a couple that visited the coffee shop yesterday. They're going through a pretty hard time together. You know, different races, different cultures, families don't improve. When I heard their story, I felt kind of their pain. What's having them happens to a lot of people. It's been told in fiction form countless times before. But it's always an interesting topic to discuss. Are they regulars here? The girl visited this place here before, if I'm not right. She was with her coworkers or clients. Helping her friends sober up, I guess. You gave people coffee to sober up? Of course not. Are you saying I'm giving them tea or hot chocolate or just plain water? Yeah, it happens sometimes. Look at the time. I've got to go for my shift. Yeah, you go on to your job, job, old man. Don't forget to share anything you cut kind of nursing. Let's not make this a habit. Officer Georgie. Ah, uh, just let me escape. Let me escape. Good luck with your writing. welcome okay off the world imagination I go hmm that should do for the experiment ah someone's coming welcome mr. gala who are what are you you look like you like just like kick someone's ass. Can we sit here? Hmm. This is the place you recommend. You don't like it? It's like Oh wow. Okay, Mr. LA vampire guy. Yes. Anything with coffee and ginger, please. Okay, uh, coffee, ginger, and coffee. Okay, okay, we're good, right? What did you like to order? Okay, coffee, ginger, and coffee. Wait a minute, hold on. Hold up here. But like, oh, I don't have them on this thing. Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, well. Here you go, buddy. Hmm, good choice. Anyway, how's the town been treating you so far? Same old. I was surprised seeing so many changes after a few years, though. Yeah, things changed a lot in, the, <laughs> in 20 years. Even this coffee shop, I believe it was at the bar back then. We have around six, six years ago, mister. It's Hyde. He sold there decades ago. What brings you back to Seattle? I'll probably be here for a few weeks. 
You two know each other for a long time, I assume. Say that. Yeah, I think we met not too long after you got married, right? It's around the 60s, I believe. Jesus Christ! Not for our kind. Oh! He's a werewolf. That's why he's big and hairy. Okay. That explains it. We're old by some race standards, but we're not that old. Although it's still fair to say some haven't seen each other in a long time. I guess 20 years is a long time. This was the place, wasn't it? Where we first met? Yeah, when it was a bar. Bankrupt. Ah, uh, what's well, such a pity. I don't know if the vibration sounds like in the game or if they're like. I don't mind. I'm just wondering. Will history repeat itself? I've been coming to your bar since, or coming to your place since it first, op or first week you opened. You got something special here. I won't close it down anytime soon. It won't close anytime soon. Speaking of, it's been quite a while since your last visit, busy at work. With the news about that newfound virus going viral, the hospital seemed ex been extremely crowded. Is the virus that dangerous? No one's really sure about that. But most people who come in are just, I don't want to use that word, they're just paranoid. You're in a hospital doing the same thing as a hospital? Well, I just read that completely wrong. Admissions officer. Yes, I'm still, at the, I'm still a hospital admissions officer there. Okay, wait, hold on, I just realized. Mr. Vampire over here is talking to a hospital guy. So I'm pretty sure like, hey, maybe he's in it for the blood. Are they, do they still seal, do they still sell legal blood to your hospital? Okay, yeah, see, there we go. Although people don't need to visit the hospital directly anymore. They just order blood through the marketplace app? <laughs> oh my god, what? They're just a middleman with lots of sales promos. You use it often? Oh my god. What? He's a vegan? He's a vegan vampire? What is this? Not real blood. Synthetic blood. Maybe too complicated to explain, but basically some scientists are working to make some kind of blood that satisfies my kind without relying on real blood. Considering real blood is some cultural and health concerns. Let's say the same. It is. I can afford it though. But again, they're still working on it. Trying to make it more affordable to everyone. Would synthetic blood taste good? If it was mixed with more ingredients? Oh my god, no. Stop it. You cannot you cannot just sell blood like that. Other things? Mostly poos. I work in a hospital, remember? Hey, talking about my vegan lifestyle remind me to ask you something. Your monthly fury found a less painful method of restraining yourself. Oh wow. You know, that's one a certain combination of caffeine and ginger. Okay, my bad. You said coffee and ginger, okay? So it says that's too, too general. Each of us have our own remedy that we need to find. Some effectiveness, some... And sometimes the effectiveness can change as we grow older. Oh my god, I've, this guy's gonna like go all wolf on my bar one of these days. Kind of kiki. 
<laughs> it's famous for our kind. You don't have to feel ashamed if you like watching it kind of thing, you know. Hey friend, you told me a lot about it. And having sex is a I mean, having sex is a calming method and it's I'm pretty common. But I normally just stick with the vanilla stuff. <laughs> So continue with your story. How far? I, I'll, this, I, I enjoy this music, but the, the changing of the music. You don't want to. Yeah, exactly. Emergency at the hospital. Thank you for the drink. I'll probably visit. I'm gonna see you around. Okay. What's Frey gonna say about these two? Alright, I knew it. I knew she could come back. I would prefer if you didn't start fantasizing. It's nice to see friendships grow in likely circumstances. Never mind. <laughs> anyway, it's pretty interesting and productive night. I need to go to get some sleep. Don't worry, I'll be here tomorrow. Cough syrup. Okay, I think we'll end it there. That's uh, two nights with uh, Coffee Talk. And we'll end it right there only because I have to talk through these entire things and it's going to uh, start affecting my throat <laughs> if I had to do voiceover th for this entire game. So uh, I will see you guys all next time. Thank you for joining. If you enjoy the voiceover stuff, if you enjoy the game, if you enjoy just kind of having this playing in the background, listening to it, Please feel free to leave a like, comment, and subscribe at the end below. And I'll see you guys all next time. Bye, everybody.